Okay, I have the new laser interface board uh, assembled and tested, and I thought I'd give a brief introduction to uh, the features and capabilities of it. Uh, basically, starting over here, we have the control input. This is pin compatible with both PC control via Mach 3 or EMC, or via the Retina Engrave controller, which it's also pin compatible with. Um, it has three stepper drivers uh, on board. These are slots for Pula Loop boards. It can use the 83 or the 88 version of those boards. Um, the current is controlled by a pot on those boards. Uh, you uh, dial the pot while watching a voltage. The uh, voltage value is a little complicated to uh, calculate, so I've actually written the formula right on the board, so you can look at that for quick reference. Uh, the microstep mode of the drivers is set through via these uh, rotary dip switches. Uh, you simply click it around, uh, doubling the resolution at each click. They're also mounted along the same side as this, so that you could mount this flush against a back wall, be able to adjust these without uh, having to enter the enclosure. Uh, they can actually be um, adjusted while the motors are running. Uh, interesting feature, I don't know if you'd ever want to use that. Uh, coming around this way, we have the uh, laser power supply interface connector. This is a one-to-one -one connection with that. Very simple wiring, um, no uh, crossing loops or anything like that. The uh, next connector is a front panel connector. Uh, this uh, basically does your pot, your emergency switch, and your manual uh, control button. I've also added a new feature, which is a toggle button to put it uh, from pot mode to PWM mode. By uh, pushing this button, it fires this relay here, which reroutes the uh, signal through the PWN pin, which comes through this control connector. Uh, there's a choice of which pin you use to make it compatible with uh, both PC and Retina engraved control. Uh, around here, we have the uh, primary power. This can be anything from about 8 to tw uh, 30 volts. Uh, everything's pretty much designed to use 24 volts, and that's what I suggest you use. There's two onboard power supplies for 5 volts and 3.3, so you can run either logic level. Uh, that is selectable by a jumper down here. It's a pretty robust 5 volt supply and a smaller 3.3 volt supply. This connector here is for the uh, enclosure uh, connections. These would be the limit switches and the cover interlock. Over here we have the uh, uh, water monitor connector. This allows you to put the water switch here. It's also got a plus 5 volt output in case you want to make a more complicated uh, water monitor that needs power. All these are looped through each other on board so that if any one of these, like the emergency switch or the water fails, uh, it disables the laser to protect it. Uh, there's a built-in fan which has its own power connector. This fan can be either uh, 5 volt or 24 volt. Both are on this connector here. You can also uh, use this maybe for some light duty external uh, power supplies. Also added on this board is some MOSFETs to drive some external relays which I have here. These are 24 volt output to drive standard um, automation uh, DIN relays. Uh, these could be used for anything from uh, assist air to exhaust. The small one will do about 15 amps with a light inductive load. This one will do uh, like a 1 to 2 horsepower if you really want to get big on your exhaust blower. Uh, that's about it for the introduction. Let me switch over to controlling it. Uh, right now I have it in disable mode so the, the motors can be spun by hand. Now the motors are enabled so they're in the locked state. You can see motors running. Uh, let me switch over and now I will uh, do the relays. Uh, first is this relay. Uh, this relay has got a nice feature. It's got a little LED on it. It's also got a manual trigger button which is always handy to test the circuit. 
uh, and then here's the bigger relay. And that's about it.